Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon, uh, Fluke Fridays, episode number 131. And it's been a while since I made a video on a Fluke product, but I had a comment from a, a viewer uh, that asked specifically about a clamp meter that looks very similar to this one, the Fluke 302 Plus, and wanted just a review on it to understand what what is that tool and why would somebody care about it um, and just kind of get my perspective on the tool. So I'm going to try to go over that. I don't have the tool in my hand. I have looked at it on uh, the website, the Fluke website, and kind of understood what that tool is. It's a stripped down version of the 320 series and we're going to go through that. A couple housekeeping things. It has been a few months since I've left Fluke and retired from fluke and doing real estate and we own we bought a trucking warehouse company so i've been very busy with that and have not been making as many videos as i would like uh, and it's the first fluke video i think i've made since i've left uh left fluke i do have other videos that are talking about real estate and stuff so i want to do more of that but i've just been too busy to do that for a little bit we're going to jump right into the 302 and at the end I'm going to tell you a little bit about affiliate links and things like that. So the Fluke, what I have here is the Fluke 325. Uh, the 302 Plus is what we're talking about today. So let's talk about the difference in the 320 series and the 302 Plus. The biggest difference or the most um, the, the biggest difference that I think is not maybe obvious to a lot of consumers would be true rms something called true rms and i've got other videos on that uh if i don't know if i'll have time to link them but if you go in a web browser to my youtube channel and you type in true rms or trms um then there's going to be some videos that'll pop up so you just go to fridays with brandon click on the little search icon within the channel window and you'll be able to do that that can only be done on desktop but it's a good way to find the video and I really explain the difference. I show you the difference, uh, why that might be important to you. For home use, if you're just using it around the house and you're not measuring large currents, um, going to like LED lighting circuits or a VFD variable frequency drive, variable frequency drive, then you're gonna probably gonna be fine with a non uh, or an average responding meter like a 302 plus. The other things that you're going to get that I think are good is you get the exact same plastic housing as this three, uh, the 320 series. So it's a really sturdy, nice housing um, on that. And why did Fluke come out with, you might ask like, well, why did they come out with a non true RMS version? Well, it was to hit a price point and that 302 plus was originally designed to be sold exclusively at Lowe's. The Lowe's contract has kind of expired, I think, at this point, because you're seeing it at a lot of different places um, now. So for the home user or for somebody that doesn't care about TrueRMS, the 302 Plus could be really good. The other thing that you might want to consider, because I do think this is uh, an important factor for home users, or it could be, is capacitance. So this little logo right here, the capacitor, and I do have videos on uh, capacitance and how do you measure capacitance. That is not a feature with the 302 plus. So you still get AC DC voltage, you get AC current, which is probably all that the average person is ever going to need. Um, and you get resistance or continuity, but you don't get capacitance and capacitance is something that if your air conditioner goes out, you might have a capacitor, a bad capacitor. And that's nice to be able to measure that. That's really the only, um, maybe not the only, but that's the main home use that I can think of for that. Um, outside of that, you still get a backlit screen, which is really slick. You don't even get that, I don't think, on the low end of the 320 series. I think the 323 does not come with a backlit screen. So they threw that in with the 302, which is a really nice just convenience factor. Um, and I, I think you're going to be happy with a 302 and it's going to be a much lower price point than the other Fluke tools. So that's definitely an option. And I think I saw it on Amazon. I mean, the 302 retails for like 130, but Amazon, I don't know what they're doing. They're selling it for crazy cheap. Um, it looks like it was like $70 or something, but you can, you can, uh, 
see an affiliate link in the in the description below. Now that I don't work at Fluke, I can actually do that, have affiliate links and stuff. So if you want to support the channel in that way, feel free to click that and buy that or, you know, go buy a um, power quality meter or a high-end thermal imager and, you know, that would be a better commission, right? Um, but yeah, I, I think you're going to be happy if you get a 302. That's kind of my perspective perception on the 302 plus uh, obviously if you're an industrial customer if you're somebody that's working a lot around variable frequency drives and non-linear loads the 302 really isn't for you but for a home user or um, uh, a residential contractor you're probably going to be fine with the 302 plus uh, I do think there are some other clamp meters and multimeters that Fluke is coming out with that might already be released but I haven't got my hands on any yet and there's going to be some clamp meters. I think they're going to be a similar price point or maybe even lower than the 302 plus. Um, I will say this, if you hold them in your hand, they're, they're very, very thin. They don't feel quite as rugged as a typical fluke meter. Um, so if you want something that's going to last a long time, just from the, the, the mold and the, the, the plastics, I think the 302 plus is going to be a really like sturdy little meter. It's going to feel like a fluke meter in your hand. Whereas these new thin clamps, they're, they're a little more um, fragile in my opinion. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. This was fun to make a fluke video. I haven't made one for a long time. Uh, like I said before, I do have affiliate links now and they're going to be in the description below. I've got a whole Amazon store that's got like every fluke tool I could find on Amazon on there and that 302 plus will be linked in that description so if you're interested feel free to click on it it does help the channel and you guys have a wonderful time and i'll see you when i see you take care